Just two days away from the Royal Rumble, but we only have a handful of participants announced for the Women's Royal Rumble. At the end of this video, I plan to have all 30. No match produces the excitement and anticipation quite like the Royal Rumble match itself. It's the time of year where you'll see lapsed fans come back into the WWE to see if WrestleMania season is worth it for them this year. And for us long-term fans, this gives us an opportunity to let our imaginations run wild. We'll read about rumors, we'll think about surprise entrants, and we'll book who we think is going to be winning the Royal Rumble and which champion they'll go on to face at the show of shows, the showcase of the Immortals, WrestleMania. This year in particular, <laughs> I mean, it's an open book. WWE has only announced and made official four entrants to the Women's Royal Rumble, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Nia Jax. Now I do think Maxine Dupree and Ivy Nile were also made official, but on the list that WWE has on their website, it's only those four for right now, so that leaves us with 26 slots to play with. Now, I'm not fantasy booking here. This isn't gonna be 26 slots of women from years past and Hall of Famers. As a matter of fact, one of the things I love about WWE right now when I was going through and making this list is that if I wanted to, I can give you 30 names that are currently on the Raw and SmackDown rosters that we can go ahead and put into this Royal Rumble. And I think that's great. Back in 2018, that certainly wasn't the case. They had to really fill that Rumble with a ton of names from the past, uh, the Hall of Famers, uh, members of the NXT roster. And while I do think there's a time and a place for some of that, back then, I think that was the really the showcase for the Women's Revolution. So it made a lot of sense to have it chock full of Hall of Famers and uh, names from the past to get people excited. But as the Women's Royal Rumble has evolved, it's nice to see that the depth of the women's divisions in WWE has evolved with it. So let's get into this here. Again, it's not gonna be 26 surprise entrants. I did try to put this in there and fill it up with a number of main roster talent, but don't you worry, there will be plenty of surprises along the way. So let's get things started here. Number one, I have Bianca Belair. I wanna get things started hot, and I think Bianca Belair is going to run the table here and be there towards the end. She'll be the Iron Woman for this Royal Rumble match. If you watched my video I did on the men's Royal Rumble match, and I'll put a link in the description to that one, you'll notice I didn't have any uh, person running the table and going from pillar to post, so to speak, and being Shawn Michaels in 1995. But in the women's Royal Rumble, I do. I think this is gonna be a really good showcase for Bianca. Her reality TV show debuts on Hulu in uh, right in the beginning of February, so the same week as the Royal Rumble. Uh, that show will be on the air. So I think they're gonna wanna get some good footage of her in the Rumble, trying to outlast and trying to become the first two-time winner of the Rumble on the women's side. Number two, Zoe Stark, what a good showcase. I think it'll be for her to get the spot there against Bianca to get things started. Uh, number three, Natalia. I think you wanna get Natalia out early because they've been uh, announcing that Natalia is one of just four women who have participated in every Women's Royal Rumble thus far. I have two of the three other women uh, that are that have been in every Royal Rumble later in the list, but I think they'll give them an opportunity to mention that. So you get Natalia out there, and and Natty's great. She's so good in the ring that I think as some of these other folks come in that may be a little more inexperienced, I think Natty, Natty can be that glue to kind of keep things together, like she was actually for the Women's Royal Rumble in 2019. Number four, I have Zelina Vega representing the uh, LWO. Uh, number five, I have the returning Alexa Bliss. Uh, I do not expect Alexa Bliss to be back in WWE anytime soon. She just had, uh, I believe, her child uh, welcome to her baby with Ryan Cabrera back in November. So we're just a couple months removed from that. But what better way to get her involved a year after her last appearance than in the Royal Rumble match here? Let her get in there, do her thing as Little Miss Bliss, and at least remind people who she is. And then when she's ready to come back, if she is ready to come back at any point, she can do so at a later time. But I think it'd be cool to see Alexa involved here, and I do expect that we'll go ahead and get that. Uh, number six, Shayna Baszler. Number seven, Katana Chance. Number eight, Piper Niven. You'll notice uh, a little pattern here, which I'll get to in a second. Number nine, Alba Fire. Number 10 is LaDawn. Number 11, Chelsea Green. Number 12, Caden Carter. They're trying with these women's tag titles. Uh, I, I, it's, it's, been, it's, been a, it's been a tough climb. So I think what better way to showcase the women's tag titles than getting the three teams that are really involved for the titles right now, Chance and Carter, uh, Fire and Dawn, and then Piper Niven and Chelsea Green all involved at the same time so that you can really talk about these titles and really, you know, kind of build them up here over time. So I like this. Of course, who knows? I think maybe uh, uh, maybe Asuka and Kyrie Zane will be the women's tag champions here before long. Uh, and I do have them coming in a little bit later on. But in any event, uh, number 13, Nikki Cross. I think you got to have enough time for Nikki Cross to establish just what the heck she's doing uh, with kind of this new character. 
uh, and I expect a little bit more growth there during this match. Number 14, Tegan Knox. She's been involved with them today, so if you want to have Natty stick around until she comes around, you can. Uh, but I think Tegan certainly deserves a spot in this match. Number 15, this is my first NXT showcase of the match. Tiffany Stratton. I think it's time for Tiffany Stratton to get an opportunity here on the main roster. I don't think we need to necessarily call her up right now. She's still heavily involved with the NXT storylines. But I think what better way to do it than to get her involved and have a little showcase here in the Royal Rumble. Uh, number 16, second half. Things kind of picking up a bit. You've got Becky Lynch. Uh, followed by number 17, Asuka. Number 18, I had talked earlier about those four women who have been in every Royal Rumble match so far. For those who don't know, those four women are Natalia, uh, Dana Brooke, who obviously will not be a part of the match. She just debuted for TNA. Uh, Tamina. And uh, it is also going to be Liv Morgan. Those are the four women who have been a part of it, part of things uh, thus far. I have both of them coming in here. Uh, number 18, Tamina. I think it'd be great. Always great to see Tamina. I think she deserves a spot in the Royal Rumble. And number 19, the returning Liv Morgan. And I do expect that whatever she does in this match will lead to more for Morgan. Uh, I think that, honestly, she's she going to be one of the ones that wins it. You have to wait till my uh, predictions uh, for that. And that'll be out over the weekend, uh, certainly before the Royal Rumble itself. But I can see Liv Morgan having a really good showcase here and being back in the thick of things for WWE storylines. Uh, number 20, uh, Kyrie Sane. So you'll have Asuka and Kyrie in there together. Number 21, Ivy Nile. She's been a real, uh, you know, she's done really well for herself since coming to the main roster. I'd like to see her have a good showing here in the Royal Rumble. So put her in early enough to where she can go on a bit of a run. Uh, Raquel Gonzalez, number 22. Number 23, Bailey. So you'll have most likely Asuka, Kyrie Zane, and Bailey all in there together. Number 24, my second of two NXT showcases here, the NXT Women's Champion. Lyra Valkyria, I think it'd be awesome to see her in there. I expect Becky to still be there when she does come out, so it'll be cool to kind of play off of that uh, and see maybe the two work together. That'd be fun. Uh, number 25, Michin. Michin had a good little women's title match a little while ago, uh, and I hope that they continue to build up for her and give her more because I do think she's super solid. Number 26, she's not like most girls, Nia Jax. Number 27 is Maxine Dupree. Number 28, I'd bring in Valhalla. Uh, Valhalla has not had any matches since she's returned here uh, with the Viking Raiders, but she's still a big part of the storyline. She looks uh, awesome, so I'd love to see her get a chance to be a part of this match. Number 29, Shotzi. And my number 30 is Jade Cargill. Uh, I think Jade Cargill will have a major impact in this match. Whether she wins it, whether she's there at the end, I expect her to expect big things from Jade Cargill. And I think it'd be great to have her be number 30, especially if she's coming in as a heel. I think it's a perfect way to introduce her because I think people will be very excited thinking it's going to be AJ Lee. And then you pull the carpet out and you give them Jade Cargill instead. And uh, honestly, I think there's other times for AJ Lee. I know I think it's a little, little soon. I don't think it's happening right now. Um, it'd be great. I'd love to see it. I also don't necessarily think we're going to be getting Sasha Banks. I another one I'd love to see, uh, but I left her out as well. Um, and a couple other folks uh, that I left out along the way, I just honestly couldn't fit him into the Royal Rumble. I think you do need some surprises. I tried to give a couple of them here. And uh, something I like with my surprises, other than Alexa Bliss, you know, you have the NXT, the two folks from NXT who I think have worked really hard and deserved a spot in, in uh, certainly uh, Lyra and Tiffany Stratton. And then I also like that you're gonna have Jade Cargill and Liv Morgan involved, who I think will be involved down the stretch towards WrestleMania. Get them back involved and get them uh, involved in the storylines here going forward. So anyway, that is my 30. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I'll run through them all for you real quick. One, Bianca Valera. Two, Zoe Stark. Three, Natalia. Four, Zelina. Five, Alexa Bliss. Six, Shayna Baszler. Seven, Katana Chance. Eight, Piper Niven. Nine, Alba Fire. Ten, Z Isla Dawn. Eleven, Chelsea Green. Twelve, Caden Carter. Thirteen, uh, Nikki Cross. Fourteen, Tegan Knox. Fifteen, Tiffany Stratton. Sixteen, Becky Lynch. Seventeen, Asuka. Eighteen, Tamina. Nineteen, Liv Morgan. 20, Kyrie Zane, 21, Ivy Nile, 22, Raquel Gonzalez, 23, Bailey, 24, Lyra Valkyria, number 25, Meechin, 26, Nia Jax, 27, Maxine Dupree, 28, Valhalla, 29, Shotzi, 30, Jade Cargill. That's an awesome list. I'm excited. As I'm going through this, I'm like, wow, there's a lot of names in here that could really, you know, at least have a nice showcase here. So, I like the way I put it together. Let me know if I did a terrible job. I'm not going to take it personal. I'm excited for the Rumble. I hope you are as well. And uh, we'll talk again real soon here, here on Watch Along With